Can tell you that they love you when they never mean it True love come from God in the name of Jesus Turn right back on the king, I committed treason Thank God he forgives and I was named a preacher I'm screaming Jesus What's up, YouTube? You're Inside the Edge, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I am here with a new episode, guys. Today, I want to talk a little bit of some college hoops with you guys. Um, I've been editing college basketball highlights um, this entire 23 season, so um, I'm excited to just get into a lot of NBA prospects. Um, you know, this is just an exciting time. I know a lot of us is hyped about the NBA Finals, but right after that, guys, we know that the NBA is all year round. And next thing you know, guys, we're going to be talking about these young players. Um, I don't think a lot of people even really know um, a lot of the top players in this year's draft. I think many of us know Bronny James for obvious reasons, but nobody really looks at the other top first rounders that's actually going to get drafted. But today I want to talk about Khalil Ware. Um, it's the center from Indiana, you know, this is one um, player that I've I've been raving about, um, you know, me being a Chicago Bulls fan, I was like, this is the guy the Bulls need to drive with the 11 pick. Um, so this is a video, you know, I just want to just give you guys a little breakdown what he can add to the Chicago Bulls, just because when you look at, you know, the Chicago Bulls roster, you don't really see a, a rim protector, you know, Andre Drummond, great player, great rebounder. Um, but defensive liability. Vooch, we know what he does on the offensive end, but when it comes to, um, you know, the defensive end, there's nothing there, guys. And the Chicago Bulls, they need to find that guy. Now, Adam Sonogo from UConn, I know we drafted, he was undrafted last year, and he may get some minutes um, this upcoming season, but I would really like to see, you know, still, I would really like the, the Chicago Bulls to draft where, um, because of his height, um, because of just a lot of things he can bring to the table, guys. So looking at um, where and looking at what he did in Indiana, guys, I mean, he's played in 30 games. Um, he played four minutes um, at 32.2 minutes. He averaged 15.9 points. He averaged 9.9 .9 rebounds, 1.5 assists, uh, 1.9 blocks, guys. That's almost two blocks per game. Um, even when you look at his field goal percentage, he shot 58.6% from field goal range. Um, Three-point range, he shot 42.5%. Um, his free throw shooting is 63.4. That's something that, you know, he can improve on, but we'll get into that, guys. But I think the most intriguing thing about Ware is um, just what he does on the offensive side. You know, he's a guy that, you know, he can play in the post. He plays back to the basket. He's really crafty. You know, he has really good, um, you know, footwork with his spin moves. Um, this is somebody that, um, you know, he can, he's really versatile. When you really, if you could describe him as a player, he's versatile. Um, you know, he does have a really good hook shot. Um, I like how he leans against his, the, you know, the players that he's trying to score on. You know, he, he puts his body weight on them. You know, he hits them with hook shots. And I think he's going to be a problem in the NBA. Now, I know a lot of people look at, you know, his his body frame. Um, he is uh, he is thin. Um, he does weigh 230 pounds. Um, that's something that he's definitely going to have to bulk up as far as, you know, body mass, muscle mass. He's going to have to definitely bulk up a little bit, get a little bit stronger. Um, because what the highlights we've seen in college, I mean, Again, guys, he was dominating, but in the NBA, um, he's going to have to deal with another physicality. And that's just one thing I think, um, and not that that's a flaw or anything, but, you know, he just definitely needs to just get a little bit stronger, um, pump a little bit of, of muscle. But um, I think, you know, the Bulls need a, a rim protector. You know, they need someone that can be a rim protector. But also, you know, we look at, you know, DeMar DeRozan with the jump shooting and, you know, Kobe White with the shooting ability. But we don't really have anyone, like besides Vooch, we don't really have someone that's, you know, a, a a paint presence that can score down low. We don't really have a threat down low scoring wise. And I think where can add that element to the Chicago Bulls. Now, I know for some people, um, you know, if I, I put like this, if I had to compare where to a, a player now, I think Derek Lively is, was one of those guys. I think Derek Lively is a, is a guy you can compare to where, I mean, they're both seven foot tall. Um, they both, um, you know, bring defense. So I think where is going to be a player for the Chicago Bulls where he can add, um, you know, the offensive side, um, you know, looking at Kobe White, the way he can break down defense, defenses, penetrate to the rim. That's going to be a lot of alley-oops for where he's very athletic. Um, and I think his athleticism is going to take him a long way. Um, the way he can contest shots, um, you know, that's um, with his athleticism, he can make some incredible blocks, guys. Um, I, I guess if I had to get into his weakness, um, I, I would say, you know, his free throw shooting could be better at 64 percent. Um, I know that's he could be a liability in late fourth quarter games. That's what you kind of look at. You know, when it comes to fourth quarter, you, you know, bigs that usually sits on the benches because they're not good free throw shooters. But uh, I know through time that can improve. 
Um, and I know he's going to take a lot of strides, but I think he'll be a really good fit for the Chicago Bulls. Again, I, I know I keep mentioning it, but because of what he can do in the post, um, him being a rim protector, I think that's something that um, he can really bring to the Chicago Bulls. Now, I know instantly he's not going to get minutes. He's going to have to work for those minutes. But I just know with Adam Sonogo possibly coming into the mix, um, he's going to probably get some minutes next year. But Andre Drummond, um, I don't really see how, you know, I, I see Ware being a better player than Drummond. Um, like, again, uh, Ware is just a really versatile player. You know, with athleticism, he's going to grab rebounds. He's going to be a guy that can get you a double-double every game and a little bit more. And just hearing his interviews, um, I know he did a workout with um, with Portland. He, You know, he talked with um, some of the questions that they were giving him. And he talked about being even a, a shooter, a three-point shooter. I mean, he's working on all aspects of his game. So he is a work in progress. But um, I see him, you know, being a guy that can spread the floor with his pick and, with the pick and roll action. Again, with the, with the alley-oops, um, he's going to be catching a lot of lobs. And if he does develop that that three-point shot, you know, he wants to be a catch and, a catch and shoot three-point shooter, a guy that can spot up. I mean, if he can get those attributes, get that in his arsenal and feel more confident about a shot, then, I mean, the sky's the limit for this kid, man. But I can see him being, a, you know, getting some solid minutes in his rookie year. And I think the Chicago Bulls should draft him with the 11th pick. But I know there's a lot, a lot of other key players that the Bulls can get as well. So I'm not going to say it's a definite, but I think this is a draft um, selection I think the Bulls should consider. Um, just because the Bulls, you know, we, we definitely need a big. Even though the Bulls also need a wing player, maybe another shooting guard. The Bulls need a lot, guys. But where is one player that I definitely recommend, you know, the Bulls should really push for, guys. But I don't want to make this video too long. But I just, you know, for you Bulls fans, um, I hope you guys could take a look at some of his highlights because um, I think where he has a lot of potential, you know, the only, you know, the weaknesses I see is just, you know, him, he needs to get stronger, you know, 230 pounds, because, you know, he definitely, I could see him being a screen setter, a roll, a pick and roll kind of guy, but he needs to set those firm, you know, those firm um, pick and rolls where, you know, that point guard could excel and go, and go to the rim and just create space. But I think with all, with all that being said, I think he's definitely worth a first round pick. And I think the Bulls would not, be disappointed if they were to get this guy so until next time guys i'm going to wrap up the wrap up this video i don't want to make it too long but until next time have a good day peace